Scientific evidence confirms that engaging in regular running and bike riding not only enhances overall health, but also reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. Running, for instance, can lower the likelihood of heart attacks or strokes by an impressive 45% while extending one's lifespan by three years. However, it is important to be aware that running also carries potential risks that might go unnoticed. Have you ever experienced a sensation of heaviness or pollution in the air you breathe? This sensation could be attributed to the worsening air quality caused by various pollutants released through traffic and construction activities in urban areas. Astonishingly, a staggering 45% of airborne particulate matter worldwide stems from domestic combustion and traffic alone. Unfortunately, the human respiratory system is ill-equipped to handle the ultra-fine particles commonly generated during combustion processes, leading to significant health problems when these particles accumulate within the body. During exercise, the rate of breathing, bronchodilatation and volume of inhale air increase, subsequently elevating the intake of particles and their potential to remain lodged in the lungs. Studies estimate that approximately 29% of lung cancer-related deaths and 43% of deaths caused by chronic obstructive pulmonary disease can be attributed to air pollution. These toxic particles can settle within the lungs, enter the bloodstream or even breach the body-brain barrier remaining in the brain where the body lacks mechanism to eliminate them. In certain areas of Brno, for instance, the air can contain up to 50 micrograms per cubic meter of particulate matter meaning an individual might inhale up to 2.3 micrograms of these particles per minute. This equates to approximately 300,000 individual particles. The actual concentration of pollutants depends on factors such as traffic density, ongoing construction and prevailing weather conditions like wind and rain. Given these concerns, how can we minimize our exposure to these hazardous environments while engaging in outdoor sports and leisure activities? To address this issue, we propose an innovative application called Healthy PA, specifically designed for this purpose. Powered by meteorological data from the Czech Hydrometeorological Institute Emissions Monitoring and leveraging the predictive capabilities of neural networks, this app would enable the extrapolation of measured emissions data even in areas without direct measurements. In just 30 seconds, you can kickstart and plan your trip using the user-friendly Healthy PA app. Simply input your location, preferred starting time and the activity you intend to pursue, whether it's running, cycling or walking. The app will promptly recommend the safest route based on air pollutant concentration, the amount of inhaled particle matter, suggested duration for outdoor activities and other meteorological details like ultraviolet radiation warnings. But how do you interpret this displayed information? Within the Healthy PA Apps menu, you can find a section dedicated to explaining the terminology used and how the data was gathered. Now here is a crucial question. Should you exercise outdoors or choose indoor activity? Can air pollution diminish the health benefits of physical exercise? While there is no definitive answer to this question, the advantages of exercising far outweigh the potential drawbacks of exposure to air pollution during workouts. By utilizing the Healthy PA app, you further tilt the balance in favor of physical activity. Within a mere 30 seconds, you can engage in your favorite physical pursuit safely with no worries.